We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to me and watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So in this video, I have three stocks you definitely want to have on your watch list moving forward. Some of them have retested lows or hit new all time lows and is rebounding from these levels. But before we break it all down and we talk about these top three stocks you wanna have on your watch list and be aware of before they explode, I wanna share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning. And if you wanna get on early with us, every single morning we strive for opportunities like these, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and we're gonna jump right into it here with these top three stocks you do not wanna overlook. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you want to get on early with us every single morning, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So every single stock I mentioned this morning gave us five to 10 percent, 10 to 20 percent. But one of them turned out to be a home run. I was looking for inflow to pick up. And that was SAVA. We caught this one in the pre-market as it was pulling downwards. You can see that extreme weakness and consolidation here on 42 Vision. It shifted into strength on 42 Vision. We got that bull indicator from ultimate 42 Vision. And it gave us a highest point towards the bell of 25% plus, guys. If you want to get on early with us every single morning, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the first one and we're going to breeze right through this. I'm not going to make it so complicated or do all this DD or all this due diligence about what's going on with the company and whatnot. We're going off of the charts here and this is a stock that I caught after it pulled downwards from $1 all the way down to 60 cents. It's been sitting sideways and it has given moments of 10 to 20% jumps. It's pulled downwards hit a new all time low here of about 53 cents a jump back up and right now it is up nearly 10 percent about seven to ten percent from these lows so there has another bull indicator here on the 30 minute when we put the four hour we want to go ahead and realize that there is no bull indicator just yet but in this area here this is what you call extreme weakness on 42 vision and by the way you can now gain access as well to 42 vision the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator you'll gain access to the premium indicators the daily watch list weekly watch list and a community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and receive the clarity and confidence you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities with the bull and bear indicators as well as the 42 vision charts as well as the 42 vision 2.0 so check it out in the links down below to the 42 vision indicator we look forward to having you join us so aei like i stated is an extreme weakness this is a china-based company and it has had a 52 week high of 29 dollars right way back here and it's collapsed since then but every single time these collapse happen there tends to be a reversal like it did here like it did here and like it did here and here we are with this one that still hasn't found a strong reversal but it is trying to bring itself back up am i expecting the same results no but i'm giving a shot at it once again at these levels i've already traded it as i stated it's given jumps of 10 to 20 percent in these last several days and weeks but i'm gonna go ahead and give another shot at it at these levels since yesterday it was at 53 cents jumped up to 60 cents and it has actually kind of cooled off let's see if it pulls back a little bit and if it can bounce off of this and continue i am going to be looking for a 10 to 20 percent move right with aei now the other stock on this list is mkfg guys this stock has been beaten down pretty bad and it hit a new all-time low yesterday right both of these stocks have been beaten down bad and it has hit new all-time lows but since i mentioned it it has given jumps of 10 to 20 percent as well throughout the volatility right so yesterday was a phenomenal day to be watching this stock especially with the extreme weakness here on 42 vision and how it bounced up today so what i'm going to be watching for is 
a cool off period, right? Because it already moved up from 474 to highs here of 522. You do the math, that is nearly 10%. I'm going to be watching if it tries to pull back a bit. And I'm going long with this one because it's in the 3D printing space. This is part of the growth sector and tech sector and innovation. But this sector has so much room to grow and expand. And at these prices, this right here is a steal, in my opinion. Now, the latest news says that Insider Sale Mark Forge Holdings. It says here basically that they sold for $113,000 one of the chief executive officers, basically the CEO. He basically sold 15,000 shares. Okay. So that right there is pretty huge. And it's important to be aware of this, but it still doesn't change the fact of the momentum that news came out and it's still pushing upwards, right? And that was from way back on the 16th. And that's why you saw the stock fall after the run up, hit these lows and it's bounced back up and it's fighting to stay within this area. So I'm going to be watching if it pulls back a little bit more. And it's very interesting to see that the CEO sold a few days ago. But it doesn't change the long term story in my eyes, guys. So I clicked on it because I found that to be actually pretty interesting that it was saying it there. Insider sales are important. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Do insider sales actually push you away from a stock or does it look more attractive? Because in my opinion, based off the technicals, right, there's an opportunity setting up here, especially how it's reversing here. And if we can get a bull indicator and CEOs, they just go ahead and pick up capital and sell when it makes sense to them or when they need the money or they just feel like unloading shares. I'm not sure. Sometimes that could mean something bad. But at the end of the day, from the stock market point of view, they don't always know the technicals, right? So I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Do insider sales push you away from a stock or does it still keep you focused on the opportunity now let's talk about this one stock because this third one is important and that is s o f i sofi technologies inc guys this stock is one you definitely do not want to overlook this is a stock we've talked about as it hit these recent lows of 13 dollars and some change and i've stated how in the past every single time it has hit this area of 13 14 dollars it bounces back now i'm not guaranteeing it's going to happen the same like we've seen in the history of chart going from 14 to the 20s and 13 to the 20s but in these levels it is important to realize you're catching nearly the dip right so this was the date where the whole entire stock market was going back up on the 15th after the fed spoke and the next day everything deteriorated and went right back to where it all started but from that point forward, down here at 1367, the stock has started to push upwards and has nearly moved up a 10 to 20 percent move at its highest points. Guys, this stock has been under a bull indicator on the 30 minute and on the four hour. I've been watching it closely as it's reversing, going into strength from red to red with green borders to dark green. We need to see if it can continue that trajectory and go and shift into green and get a bull indicator along the way to the upside, unless this is a big bull trap. And we'll have to watch this closely if it reaches close to these new all time lows of 1367 from the last several weeks and days, right? Because the 52 week low is 1174, but that $13 mark is the lowest that we've seen it for some time, right? When you zoom out, in the bigger picture now it's under a bear indicator on the four hour and the one day same thing it's been under a bear indicator since way up here at 21 dollars you could see that things kind of slightly leveled off and it is trying to reverse back up so this is a great dip area for a long-term opportunity for those that see the bigger picture of this reaching 20 dollars 25 30 and 30 plus right because it is in the growth sector. It is in the fintech sector. And this isn't the only stock in the fintech sector that was getting hit. It was the whole sector as a whole. But if you do more research on this stock, 
This is definitely a stock you want to be aware of, especially at these levels and below $15 and reaching towards 10. It's even better right now. It has strength. We'll see if it continues as always, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to receive clarity in the charts, check out the 42 vision indicator down below to maximize on opportunities through the volatility of the markets. And let's make some money, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.